this video, I'm about to tell you what the worst pet in Pudgy is. It's one Dr. Genius and and let's get on to the video. But if you look at our pet book, you guys can see we have approximately one and a half hundred. Or 160 pets. Now out of these pets, there are a few pets which can be classified as pretty bad in terms of useless in the world of Pudgy. Like, absolutely bad. But here, I will be telling you guys about the worst, in my opinion, what the worst pet in Prodigy is, right? So you might be wondering, well, how am I telling you guys about it? That's because Prodigy bought the worst pets back into Prodigy, and it's still about as bad. Well, technically, I wasn't able to use it before, but it's pretty bad for now. So, without further ado, let's get on to some of the worst pets. I will tell you what the worst, worst pet is in the very end. Now, you guys know, pets depend on a few things. They have their status, which basically tells you how much damage they can do, how much health they have. Well, as you know, pets which can deal a lot of damage are quite valuable in Prodigy because you can knock out your opponents quickly, even in the normal world. But the pets which might be characterized as the worst include some of the following. Pets which have a high... Ah, something like the Mimic I would consider pretty bad. I mean, look at its power ratio. It looks like it won't even be able to do damage. What is that, 10 to 90? That's what it looks like. Like, imagine your pet dealing 2k damage while having 10k health. Like... Dude, it's gonna take forever to kill an opponent with, like, a lot of health. It's just gonna take so long. Your pet isn't gonna be effective. The only thing these guys are good at is for the arena. Even in the arena, if your opponent's doing 10k per attack, this guy will be destroyed in 3 or 4 hits. So even then, he doesn't survive as long as normal. So really, in the arena, these guys aren't the best. Defense is much better. Now, you might be wondering, okay, we've heard a little bit about them, but seriously, what is one of the worst? Well, you have the Batterbot family over here, who will seem to do absolutely zero attack. Anyone else? The Pockets, the Clustro, the Pockets, and the, what do you call it? Clustro and Pocket. I'm pretty sure there was a third one over here, third evolution, but okay. As you guys can see, these guys, their hearts are through the roof, but damage, eh, not the best, I'd say. And on top of that, we also have ourselves the pair talks and yeah. Now pets like this, I don't know what my opinion is on them. They seem to be on the lower end of power damage because you still need to be able to do damage. I guess these pets would be bearable in game, but not the best. But the worst pets are probably the one who have the highest health with the least amount of power. So that's not the Shiver Tusk. It's some of these guys over here. I mean, look at this dude, look at this. Do you expect this batter bot to do any damage whatsoever? It looks like this guy will just slap you like zero damage. Zero damage. Zero damage. Zero damage. That's what I feel like this guy would do. Right, so you guys can see, in my opinion, these guys are probably some of the worst pets in game because of their power health ratio. I mean, if you guys can't do any damage, well then, if you're playing in game where majority of the content is outside of the arena, these guys aren't going to be too much of an help, I mean, unless if you need someone to soak up all of the damage, well then in that case they might be good, because they have a lot of health. I mean look, this guy is nearly on par with my wizard with his health, because my wizard without their armor is actually at 10,000, so this guy has more health than my wizard, but if you go to his damage section, we'll move him up friends, let's try fighting him against some Firefly Forest creatures, so you guys will see its damage is not going to be the best, right? Alright, so as you can see, we have Batterbot up over here against our opponent to Trip Trop, and let's see how much damage this guy will do. I do not have high expectations at all. Right, as 1000. Oh my god, that's so bad! Only 2000 damage? It will take us 3 or 4 attacks to kill our opponent, that's. Yeah, it will take us 4 attacks to kill our opponent, that's not even guaranteed. Now let's try ca Of course, this guy does have a fire spell, which will be good. But you guys can see that takes so long. Now if you cast Meg Mayhem, what you guys will see is this guy will do 5k damage in a single attack, nearly dropping the entirety of the health. So you guys can see, basically depending on whichever pets you choose, you can deal more damage than usual, right? You guys can see, Meg Mischief just dealt 2 times, 2-3 to three times the damage that our Batterbot did. And now you guys can see if I switch to my wizard, you guys can see the damage. Batterbot's doing less damage than the Trip Trop is. Oh, it seems like that it tells you if you want to rescue. That's new, okay. Okay, right, so if we switch to our wizard, what you guys will see is that, well, we'll get attacked, first of all. 
And then after that, you guys will see our wizard just sits on top of like 4k damage, approximately, approximately 4k damage. So you guys can see when you're against pets which deal like less damage who have higher health, and you also deal less damage, it'll take you far longer than it would in a normal battle. Because in a normal battle, this guy would have been dead in two turns, but it took us three, and that's because I used Meg Mayhem did 5k damage, otherwise it would have taken us four turns. Right, so you guys can see using pets with a huge amount of health is a disadvantage when you're playing in the Prodigy world. That's why this guy is probably one of the worst pets in game. But if you look at the arena, these guys might be some of the best. And do you know why that is? That is because they have a lot of health in the first place, right? So if you give them a health bonus and then put on two shields, that will basically negate a huge amount of damage which they'll take from wizards who have like triple damage bonus equipped. So yeah guys, that's basically my opinion on what, what the weakest pet in Prodigy is, right? I hope you guys found this video enjoyable, entertaining, and figured out what the weakest pet in Pachi is so you can move it to the side and be like, I'll save you up for the arena. But anyways guys, that's gonna be all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, please do make sure to destroy that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up if you guys haven't already, I really appreciate that, thank you to everyone for doing, anyone and everyone for doing that, and bye! These are the worst pets in Prodigy, yes, number one, the Ember Shed. These are the worst pets in Prodigy, yes, number one, the Ember Shed is by far one of the worst pets you ever want to take into the arena without any armor on, like, at all, right? So if you look in your pet book, you might be like, what? This is outrageous, the Amber Shed is one of the strongest. Well, nope, you're wrong. Because if you look at the Amber Shed, what you guys will see is, well, yeah, it does look pretty strong, but if you check its info, what you guys will see is at level 100 that the Amber Shed only has itself approximately, that even at level 100, the Amber Shed only has itself approximately 8,798 health. Now you might be like, this is a lot, it's fine, and no. You, you guys will see if there's any wizard with three right just let me show you guys this right let's just go over here go into the arena and then let me just go show you my wizard stuff right if you guys even click on your wizard what you guys will notice is that if you are facing an opponent's wizard with just three if you're facing an opponent wizard with even three attack bonuses your amber shed will get one shotted yes you're the right it will get one shotted out of existence and that's how weak it is a wizard can just go and your amber shed is dead right so yeah, if you're trying to use your Ember Shed, I'd recommend you guys take some additional health. Like, take some health, defense, and attack bonus, because, like, without that, your Ember Shed is not surviving to see the light of day. If you use, like, your Ember Shed first place, the Ember Shed is probably one of the worst pets uh, to, like, put in the front of your team for this. Now, in second place, we have ourselves Mega Mayhem. Yep, Meg Mayhem, another mythical epic who is at level 99 but still only has 8,240 health. Yep, my homie got less health than the Ember Shed does.